So today I've decided to bake in the RV. I'm going to make a rum cake. What I've got here are just some of the basic ingredients. This will not be technically from scratch. However, uh, a lot of the things in it is gluten-free. If you are looking for a delicious gluten-free cake mix. Or just a cake mix. Or just a cake mix, because honestly, this is really good. It's just a basic yellow cake. And then I've got some flour, uh, vanilla, pudding, pecans, and of course, rum. And I'll be making it in a bunt pan. Right now I've just melted a little bit of butter so that I could grease the inside. I'm gonna put some flour and sprinkle it in there. That's pretty much all I needed the flour for, just to, so that it won't stick. Then I'm going to crunch up some of these pecans because the store did not have the pieces that I needed. It always lets me down and I forgot the pieces that I had at home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them into pieces <laughs> with this rubber mallet. <laughs> I don't know why I had a rubber mallet, but I had one with me. Well, it's, I'm not going to make it be like super small, but I'm going to try to just make them a little bit smaller. Smaller than they are. actually working out really well. Yeah, those were whole, weren't they? Uh, they or were pieces. Chopped. Okay. So they were very large pieces. So now they are smaller. Yeah. Okay. So I've got the flour all dusted on top of the butter so that it will help the cake not to stick when it's completed. And then I'm going to add in the pecans. I'm supposed to add one to two cups or so. These are bigger chunks, so I'm probably only going to add just about this bag, which is a one cup bag. I'm going to add in the cake mix into my bowl and my vanilla pudding. Give them a quick little whisk together. And then in this bowl, I have uh, what was left of the butter that I used to grease the pan and a little bit of coconut oil. You can use uh, vegetable oil or whatever you have, about a half cup or so. I'm just gonna go and pour that in. Four eggs. I'm gonna add in a half cup of milk or water. I always add milk to cake. It always makes it more moist. Right now I'm using coconut milk. That's what I have. And then a half cup of rum. And I'm just gonna give it a good mix. So now I'm going to put it into the oven. I've got the oven set at about 375. It's got to cook for approximately 45 minutes to an hour. And here we have it. 50 minutes later, we have the beautiful rum cake all baked up. It's going to sit and cool down for a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and make the glaze. The glaze is really simple to make. It's basically one stick of butter melted with one cup of sugar. I generally use a little bit less and then one quarter cup of water. You're just gonna bring that all to a boil, let the sugar completely dissolve, take it off of the heat and then add in a half cup of rum. It's up to personal preference if you wanna use more or less. It's really depending on how strong you like the flavor of the glaze. I'm going to give the rum cake a little bit of time to cool. We do have a couple family members coming over to the Airstream a little bit later. We're gonna enjoy this cake. 
but it proves my point that you can cook and bake literally anything the same as you can in your house in your RV. This worked out amazingly well. I didn't burn it, no smoke alarms, and it's a beautiful cake. So I can't wait to enjoy it and thanks for watching.